What up, though? Baby. Episode three, Piper Plate Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to John Burden for coming through today, man. What you watching okay. right now? Some highlights. A great player, a playmaker, man. One time in the game, I played against him. This motherfucker had 21 tackles in one game. 21. Not three, not five, not seven. One game. It's a playmaker, man. You can catch him on hard knocks, you know what I'm saying? He always doing something great. I always loved about him, man. Very humble guy. Um, I'm humbled to have him come through. This episode been brought to you by Wild Street Ben Black. You can catch her on Instagram, you can catch her on YouTube, Facebook. Um, very helpful to anything you need to financial freedom when it comes to investing your money. Um, check that out once again, Wild Street Ben Black. Also, thank you to all the subscribers, the likers, the shows, everybody, um, all the support. Uh, I'm going to keep going. Uh, whether I get a hundred, a thousand, a million views, man, I'm going to keep going. And I see y'all. And for that first 100 subscribers, subscribers, I got something for y'all, man. I promise you. For real. Thank you. And uh, hopefully you like this next episode. And shout out to my boy Spence. Check out the Spence and Co. Podcast always. Go get that. Go look at that. Yeah. We here. This that life, big baby. Your slime on your slime. A little left over, but you know what I'm saying? You, what's that long word you said you was? Pescatarian. Pescatarian. So we got straight shrimp for you, my boy. You feel me? They said you did the thing with the chicken. Yeah, man, I did my thing, bro. I did my thing, man. You got some water. This is like a Texas toast and uh, Texas road. Huh? Yeah, man. Got a good little butter in it. Good dab of boo. Good dab of boo, you baby. What you been up to, bro? Got Jamaica, Jamaica, nah. That's the vibe, bro. I always wanted to go. To to I'm a true roster at heart. I want to go one day. You gotta go, bro. Yeah, you are a true roster. I am, man. Unfortunately, my advice of my life have paid me a bad price. Because I could be playing on Sunday. Not really. Oh, man. Damn. I could be playing. I could be playing on. I could have played on Saturday, mo. You did. I don't think I could play on Sunday, really. Well, I ain't had to work it. That's all right for you, my boy. It's okay then. Hey, we two for two. Hold on. What yeah, you know, be, oh, you thought it was just video, huh? Nah, this is real, man. Nah, 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 nah. nah. This is real, man. This is what I do, bro. That's what I do, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. But no, other than that, you know what I'm saying? You know, I moved to Jersey. Yeah. Uh, I took a job with the Jets. Um, right now, we're on break, so I've just been out here chilling. Yeah. With the fam, traveling mostly as much as I could, bro. Yo, you be, bro, I ain't gonna lie, when you said you was scouting, I was like, nigga, scouting like that, that's some shit that we don't think about, you feel me? That's a whole nother world. That's like, I'm pretty sure that's like traveling, just going to small towns, maybe Tennessee, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you like, you got to move around. How your work schedule be like? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm in office type like this. I kind of split time. I'm, I help out with pro yeah. in college. So I got a few schools in the Northeast. I got like 19 schools in the Northeast. So like uh, Boston College, uh, UConn, uh, this is probably my biggest school, UMass. Then I got some small schools like Anna Maria, New Hampshire. Uh, I got most of the Ivy League schools like Dartmouth and Harvard. So uh, with the college side, you basically travel into those schools and pretty much bro, you're, you're a consultant and detective for yeah. the NFL team. So you, you get information on those kids that, uh, that have like draft eligible stock. Okay. So like in the league, most teams, they uh, they either use NFS or Blesto. Yeah. And that's like, it's like a pre scouting service. So like whoever the scout is for that service, like NFS, they'll go to that area, like the Northeast, and they watching all of those kids. So they can't get past you on nothing. Like you already know, you answering the question, but you already know the answer. You go in with the answer to the test. Already. Okay, I got you. Right, now I want to see what you're going to keep it real with me. Mm-hmm. But um, those, those services kind of like, they go into the schools and like they filter it out basically for you. 
And so like you're not looking at every every kid on the roster. You'll uh, you'll look at like you know the 10, 15 kids that they picked out. It's like you know these kids. I got this grade on this kid. You know, so he's an A. That means we think he's like the first round grade. Yeah. And then uh, you know what I'm saying go down the list that way. And so when you go into the school, like you watching that list of, list of kids or whatever, and then you basically give me your opinion to the organization of what you think, you know what I'm saying, about these kids. So you kind of do that with each school. Uh, and obviously you get like background information and stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> Did that say Did that say Princeton? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. When it come down to it, I would always wonder how it feels like being on the other side, because you've been scattered a lot. So do you bring like the characteristics that you that you got from scouts or what you would have wanted a scout, how a scout you would have wanted to approach you? So, so like, I know it's, it's certain situations or uh, like certain ways to do to portray sometimes. It's like, well, I kind of understand like why people think that or you know what it really might be because I play it, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think they definitely, the front offices definitely want more former players just because of that type of deal. Because you understand a different dynamic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you hear how somebody's character is being dressed up, you know, through a report because of what coaches said or, you know what I'm saying, what a, a professor might have said. Yeah. Then you can kind of piece together with who he is as a person because you know from your own experience as a player. So, so if you was a scout and you scouting me in high school, be real. Cause I done had a scout come out to the high school, shout out to Missouri, I was suspended. And he came out there and done a shout out to that coach that looked out for me that day and told him I was sick, but I was suspended. And he done came from Missouri to come see me. Would you be able to like detect that they lying or would you had already found out like you already got suspended? I'm trying to see if this school going to tell the truth for future players. So you might have, so, you might have, so I might have heard from somebody else, like another scout. So be, like you're saying, like college, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe if I was like working in Oklahoma State mm -hmm. and I got a buddy that worked at Arkansas or something like that, he already came through there yeah. and found out that you were suspended and I didn't talk to him already and he said, hey, once you go out there to Longview, you know what I'm saying, just make sure you know Kerry Force ain't going to be out there and he's suspended. Mm -hmm. So once I get out there, and they tell me you sick, now I'm just not gonna trust that source no more. Like, you gotcha. know what I'm if I'm talking to whoever the hell it is that told me you were sick, I'm just like, all right, well, now from now on, I'm just gonna take what he said with my Oh, shit, I needed that haircut, bro. You know, on Thursday, that long ass meeting with them little grandma cookies, that little yellow yeah, Gatorade. Yeah. They, yeah, them boys got bodacious now. I, them, yeah, on Thursday, they get bodacious. Man, they used to give us them, them Sam's Club money. They got us the Gutcher the, the cookies. The Duchess, the du you got a you got a combo. Me, you gonna get your Chick Fil A, you gonna get your Snicker, yeah, and your Honey Bun, yes, and you gonna get that Sergio juice. <laughs> I don't know if that's applicable right there. I think I, think no, I need it. Time. Is it applicable? No. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think, <laughs> I think I think it's applicable, but I ain't gonna see. It. Yeah, life, life. Yeah, they got it made now. They yeah. got it five stars every year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Them boys be good. They done had Jalen, he top ass, he the top receiver. Taylor Taylor. Then Taylor Taylor. They, they got the jumping night. They got then they got Willie Nelson. Yeah. Are you going to your alma mater? Oklahoma State. Okay. Yeah. So we recruited Nel uh, Willie and uh, I was trying to get him to recruit uh, Buddha. Okay. I was there too. Um, what do you think about Buddha Gary Princeton offer? I think. Uh, so I talked to Matt. He's like, that nigga smart or something then. Nah, he's not just Princeton. Yeah, he got he got some he got what? college. I know I ain't no ch no cheeks out there. He don't until nigga go to LSU or so there ain't no cheeks at Princeton, Buddha. Buddha. It ain't no cheeks at Princeton, Buddha. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. How high is not real. That was a movie. Bro, they ain't no cheeks out there, fam. I nah, I'm playing, man. Do what the best you need to do, man. Proud, congrats to you, I, I man. Congrats to you. I might be biased because uh, Tulsa recruited him, and the DB coach in Tulsa played with me at Oklahoma State. Mike okay. Brown, shout out Mike Hunter. So I think he he probably be best going there because Mike Mike gonna be an NFL DB coach for long. So mm -hmm. I think uh, Tulsa be a good move for him. He a good player though. That yeah, boy, he, 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 he might play. No, nah, yeah, he nice. Him and Willie, Willie nice too. Mm -hmm. One thing about Longview. Well, you know what's guaranteed, man. You're going to have some football players. No, sure. They're going to know how to play some. 
Now, I don't know if, like, other sports, they got, we got hoopers, we got track people, they just don't get the limelight like, put on them as much. But football, that shit in stone. That's how people know about Longview if they know where Longview is. They be like, oh, this nigga be playing football. I be talking shit out here. I be working like a little him, Listen. and it'll be a little black boy be big and stocky coming there with his little dreads. I be like, where y'all play it? Little him. <laughs> I like, I don't know shit about them Lobos, them real Lobos, cause they called the Lobos too. So I be like, yeah, what's up? What's up with them long views? I be, uh, what's it called? Hey, they some dogs though. Them little Highland Park white boys. I worked in their area. They come in with their little shirt. I, I can talk shit. Me, I mean, yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Y'all got long view in y'all district this year. What's up? Man, this boy looked at me and said, shit, we ain't worried. They got us I said, oh, shit. I said, they god damn, I wasn't ready. They got us number three in like the, the whole DFW, I think. Who? Long view. Nah, long view yeah. gonna come up real. That's what I always tell people, man, with long view. We the only team really from out there that gotta come up real and like really play big boys to get to where we need to go. Nah, I be talking shit in Jersey. Yeah, oh, they probably think they can play there too, cause they got good football in Jersey. They think they got good football. This just like me and my New Orleans partners. They all the time, boy. They I've got to. The boot, the boot, the boot, in Florida. They don't give us a run for our money on my weed, but they ain't gonna come up here. We don't. Yeah. We still put them in here. Come on, that's how you see John Curtis back in the day. That's what I told. Him. And I played with a couple of John Curtis boys that nigga was like, no disrespect. They thought they, yeah, John Kerr, John Kerr is supposed to be like the pinnacle. Right now, it's in the car, my partner BJ school. It's in the car. It used to be like St. Isle, because St. Isle mm -hmm. had Tyron and yeah. Lenny and all them. My partner Toe went through. You know what I'm saying? But now it's in the car. Them boys out there. They got a chokehold. From Shreveport, it was uh, that we used to play. They were supposed to be. Evangel. Evangel. We put them in here like We still lost the game. We put that little sorry boy in it. I can't call him like that. He might, he might, I think he died. Yeah, I think he died. I can't say that. I can't say that. I'm just saying, I would feel rank on him, but I think he died, boo. I'm just saying, I can't say that. But then why we lost the game? Because we put him in game. And we smacked them boys up 52 14. But say, you think I got, you think I'm, I'm good enough to get like my own restaurant, bro? You think I can come up there and cater for the Jets, fam? You got something. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't... Hey, you think I can get, get a five-yard slant on South? I don't know that. I don't know that. That's, that's some league coverage. You, you don't think I can see him the inside shoulder? Nah, bro. Okay. <laughs> I think I can give him a look. Nah, bro. Well, nah, I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna... I can give him a look. I ain't gonna hold you and say you ain't one of them. He ain't gonna jam me. I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never got jammed in my life, but I ain't never been in that position in 10 years. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of weak pause. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> he was ready. He was on point. He was quick. Pause. Yeah. But we gotta we gotta keep it right, fool. He, 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 he gonna get in you, pause. Mm-hmm. Boy going crazy. Nah, but for real though, bro. Hey, I wanna talk about this time, fool. I was proud though, I ain't gonna lie, cause I ain't curb back then. <laughs> When we were playing, you when you was at SFA and I was at Nickel State. Oh yeah, twenty five times. It, man, it had I thought it was eighty, cause every time it just I kept hearing. I'm like, man, did they keep saying? Cause it's like Jordan Bird and them tackle. It's like, man. It's cause I know I was. Gonna I was like, bro, these bro, the score was like sixty five to like fifty two, bro. I kept going on kick out. I mean, kick return. I'm kind of kick return, bro. It's like, bro, I'm tired, fam. Oh, bro, yeah, bro. When I say that game was so. Like, bro, we was on the field so many yards in that game, fool. But I ain't gonna lie, at that time, fool, I feel like that was where I was supposed to be because I just didn't really care like that no more. But I feel like it just wasn't where you was supposed to be. When I seen you, I was like, nah, Jordan, he just, this ain't for him. Like, not no disrespect to your players that was around you. But I was like, nah, I don't, he's supposed to be somewhere way greater than this. Did you feel that way when you were playing? All the time, fool. Like I used to watch, uh, like I said, a lot. I remember all the time watching like, Ohio State and Oregon and Oklahoma mm -hmm. and all of them teams play. I'm just like, bro, I gotta figure out a way to get the hell up out of here. Yeah. I don't know. I was just reluctant to even go there in the first place, and I knew it wasn't a place for me. Yeah. They was recruiting me to play safety, right? Yeah. So they was like, we want you to come in 
and uh, sit for a year behind this All-American safety. We got uh, Jordan Aubrey or Josh Aubrey because Jordan played. It was twins, Jordan and Josh. One of them played corner, one of them played safety. So Josh played corner and Jordan played safety. So they wanted me. You play with my partner brother, Jordan Stearns. Or is it, what's the story? Yeah, they're my partner, Jameson brother. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I got to, uh, to Steven and Foster, right? Yeah. And I'm thinking I'm coming in to play safety behind uh, Jordan Aubrey. And I get there, and my jersey and my locker, bro, and it's number 53. I'm like, oh. yeah, bro, I don't know. One safety now, number 53. So I was, that's when I knew I was, shit, I was, I was playing. Dude, that tick did me like that. They had me number three on the game. I got the 81. <laughs> Yeah, ain't that big ass shit. I knew it was time to dip a body out of there, but nah, I used to watch all of the big teams play on, t on TV all the time. I was like, I know. I went to Kilgo. You went hard at Kilgo to me. I was an ass dude. I ain't gonna lie. We had bad culture. Like, Cause you went to La Tech first, then Kilgo. I went to La Tech, Kilgo, then Nickel State. Yeah. That's why by the time I had got to Nickel State, it was basically like, I got all this baggage on my name. The every coach I go to, they like, yo, this, that's the little, you know what I'm saying? He a little troublemaker, but he can play a little situation. bit. But he can play a little bit. My situation was different, though, because, like, I left Steven and Boston because I wanted to go bigger. Like, I ain't have bad grades. I ain't have no failed drill tests. I never got in trouble. You know but how you keep your discipline at kill? Though? I had no discipline at kill, though. Because it was too close to the home. It was five close. minutes yeah. from my mama's house. I'm taking them from that little dorm. That little girl dorm that was yeah. right there. Ah, right, come on. Come on with me. When they check my dope and they dorm, they come check. It's I'm gone. Gone. I ain't never smoke. I ain't never drink. Right. So I ain't really get that's good, drugs. bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's, I, I envy that. You know what I'm saying? That's and that's shit. another reason why I don't do it. Everybody I talk to say, you know what I'm saying, you ain't did it now, you might as well never start. So. For real? Type deal. So, I mean, I never really was into the party scene and nothing like that. Plus, I knew I was there to do one thing. Just try to go, you know what I'm saying, to a bigger school. But, yeah. Like you said, it was close to the crib, but I ain't really even go to the crib that much. Like, once them 5 a.m. workout start hitting with Coach Gooden, you gotta hit the I bro, my first. I bro, my first day there, this is how I knew I had, I just, I wasn't in the right mindset. I came there, you know, when we do them workouts on that tennis court. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought they were going to give us some clothes because it was sometimes, bro, bro, I came across there with my with my clothes from school. Everybody had, they, they, they work out. I said, say, dog, what up? What y'all doing? I done, we ain't got no clothes. They're like, nah, it's summertime. This ain't season. I said, damn. So I ran back over there, Paul. I said, what? This shit different. I said, boy, this different than losing our tech. Oh, man. Yeah. Man, boy, kill go, but it made me a humble. It humbled the shit out of me. Well, that's the best time I'd ever had playing football, though. I, I, I'm close with people the most, not really losing our tick, because so long ago, some people I'm real cool with, like Ryan and uh, CJ, but they're like two. But my people from Nickel State and Kilgo, man, they're my people. Like, my Kilgo, because we, when I came in, I'm that transfer, so they thinking I'm that D1 transfer that's finna be. Thing. I'm like, hell nah, bro. Shit, I'm I'm just here to be on the team, fam. Yeah, that's my dumb ass. I ain't trying to stick out. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I fuck up it. Once the five in the workout started hitting, bro, I, so I was sleep on uh so it was uh Corey Davis, he from Gladewater. I know him. Remember uh Corey and then Chris Chumley, uh from Pine Tree. They stayed in the dorms and I got real close with them, so I ended up just, you know what I'm saying, kicking it on their floor. So I slept on their floor for In the quads? Nah, it was uh the, just a basic dorm, bro. You talking about the like that? Oh, you was in the. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, no. Nah. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. Nah, I ain't gonna say that on here. <laughs> Let's just say, man, it got it got freaky deaky in there one time. With with the with like I told a dude that was in there the one time. I said, say, bro, finna bring something in here. Yeah. I said, don't tell nobody, fool. Act like you sleep over there. But we finna do our thing on this twin, <laughs> bro. Do my thing. Get to the cafeteria that morning. Everybody. Everybody over there kill her. What you did, boy, during train camp, boy. You snook. I said, bro, I told you don't say shit, fool. Yep. Bro, yeah, I was in that hoe. I was I up in there. I used to stay. I, used to, I stayed there for a whole year. I slept on that floor. That's this. That's good. That's this. It was just, I, we had a good time. I ain't gonna lie. Like, 
Nah, yeah, Willie, yeah. Willie is a great coach. Like Willie, I, and he, he really cur. That's yeah. why I, I fuck with Willie. That's his thing. Yeah, I fuck with Willie. I always fuck with Willie. Willie, somebody I can take his lead. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I so like Coach Eck. I think Coach Eck was our head coach. He was my head coach. Coach Egg was our head coach. Coach Good was just uh, the D line coach, and that's who recruited me from uh, Stephen and Boston. Because Pee Wee, I don't know if you remember Pee Wee and Monster. They yeah, was, yeah, from him. Yeah, they was the first ones to leave SFA. They was getting ready to leave SFA, and then Quan was yeah, good too. Yeah. So when they was getting ready to leave, they was going to, uh, to junior college, but I didn't know where JUCO was. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't I had no, I had no idea like how it worked. Woo. I said none of that. Woo. Like how it worked. Woo. I said none of that. Woo. Damn. Every man for himself. Bruh. And they said last chance you, that's why I love last chance you, cause it really was like that, like niggas will scrap a little bit. You go see that's 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 a Hollywood version though. Yeah, but they got they on stadium, they on Yeah, it do, it do. Cause yeah, nigga, yeah, none of that shit. Nigga, that Ranger walk, I used to be like, dog, can we drive to the stadium, yeah, bro? Come on, come on man. I mean, can, can we drive, fool? Can we drive today, fool? Ain't nobody even out here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why are we walking? Walking from the door all the way down to the stadium. Bro, I used to be like, man, I ain't found, let's get this session in, bro. Nah, Before, you know what I'm saying? I used to be, me and my boy, we from East. We, our school, we were kind of clicked up, we like Houston. Dallas, East Texas, but East Texas and Houston were kind of cold. Cause I got a lot of cold dudes from Houston. See, the only clicks we had, See, only clicks we had was like, if you stayed in the quads or if you stayed in the tower. You know, yeah. niggas that live in the quads, they live a little bit better than everybody else. Yeah, you got I was in that quad, fool. You got to put me in that quad, fam. I ain't lying. And I didn't even stay in that house. I, I went to my mama's house every night. Like, they'll knock on my door. Do, 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 do. I have my do rag on. And it'll be like, I'll be like, yo, I'm here. As soon as they leave, I'm jumping in that Crown Vic. I'm going down 31. I couldn't do that. Once some 5 a.m. workout started eating, I was dropping on that long beard. So I just kept it on that. Well, this is the thing, bro. I only, because I was a transfer after the football season, like, I wasn't in workouts or nothing no more. I never was in the, my first, first out season was my junior year, Nickel State. It was my first time really lifting weights for real. I never was in the out season in football in high school. I was going to play baseball. Uh, it was my first time lifting for real. That shit was fun. I'm like, oh shit, nigga. Hey, 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 nigga, start me out with that play 35, nigga. I'm feeling bad, nigga. You feel me? Nah. You you y'all trying to come to the gun show, nigga? Good was gonna get you right. He was our strength coach. Nigga, we was in there working out with motherfucker that I see in uh, class at nine. I said, boy, this shit crazy, fool. I said, boy, this shit. Hey, but I was. Hey, but I was. I said, boy, this shit humbling, though, man. I said, God damn, bro. I said, it's a humbling spot. I said, damn, I came to see them girls, them right to it. They ain't coming to see us. After halftime, I said, where are you going? I said, where is everybody going, bro? They said they came to see the Ranger X. I That's said, it. what? I said, they didn't come see us? They're like, nah, everybody went out here for us. I said, what the game good? Nah, I mean, <laughs> they came to see the Ranger X. After halftime, <laughs> <time, laughs> be, be 20,000 people in the stadium. They're like, grabbing it. They're like, they're like, I'm at the Cotton Bowl, nigga. They're like, I'm at the Cotton Bowl. There's five people up there after halftime. I, bro, I, bro, I said, no wonder they be at the Cowboys Stadium. I said, this shit real. I said, damn, they doors looking good. I said, they build it. I don't even think I can go up in that hole, nigga. Yeah. Hey, nigga, the yeah. Ranger, that's real down there. Came for the Ranger, that's Goddamn kill go college, man. Shout out to them Rangers, man. Yeah. Shout out to them Rangers, bro. But shit, hey, bro, I know I'm gonna let you finish that food off and shit, bro. But I know you be busy and shit, but I do appreciate you coming through, fam. For real. Because I always know you to be a humble guy, man. You always been yourself. And that's why I fuck with you. So you ain't trying to be like nobody else. Like you said, being a scout, you know, I don't care. I cook, you feel me? I don't give a fuck. Well, Shit, this is me. Dab gonna do you, man. God damn it. And that's what I was just feeling goddamn safe. Cause this that life, big baby. That right. <laughs>